We want to start right off at Penn State Barron with meteorologist Tom Atkins. He is all decked out for the eclipse in the We Are Penn State uh, get up. Uh, Tom, great to see you. How's it going out there? Great to have you back on our team, Craig. It is going great. Yeah, we, this is a privilege for me because I work at both places, right here at Barron in the School of Science. So I got my blue and I also got the jet blue. So we're doing very well. And it's getting darker as we speak. So Ken, why don't you just give him a pan? This is the athletic field. And you can see this is the perfect venue because there's tons of space, tons of people with uh, glasses. And uh, we've got some breaks in the cloud. We're still dealing with some clouds. And uh, we've got people with telescopes as well. So the first thing from a meteorological perspective, of course, is it gets cooler when you get an eclipse. So I'm going to have my photographer, Kent, zoom you right in on there. And you can see we started at about 67, 68, 69. And we're not even in totality yet. And we're at 57, 58, 59. So the temperature is dropping as we go towards totality. But I've got two great guys, the best. It's, it's kind of like working the World Series with two Hall of Famers. So I want to have uh, Darren, Dr. Darren Williams, professor of astronomy and astrophysics. You don't get better than that. And Mr. Jim Gavio, who runs the Yon Planetarium. So a um, couple of things. What are we looking at here, Jim? Well, we're looking at a projection of the sun on this white plate, and we can see the, the moon is almost totally covering the sun. We're getting very close, and we have a few clouds moving in the way there. And we're also able to see some sunspots that are on the sun itself, on the surface of the sun. So we'll be following this throughout the eclipse. Um, thank you so much for that. We've got other telescopes, and, and you got your glasses on. Right. And the, uh, anything that you would like to say just for a few seconds here before we get to totality because we'll come back here and we'll show you everything right well everybody's always calling me a scientist but today we're all scientists there are thousands of scientists here in Erie Pennsylvania it's easy to be a scientist when you when you have access to the eclipse and it's just a wonderment of nature I mean this is a once-in-a-lifetime experience so clouds are no clouds we're gonna get shots and and this is truly spectacular it is it is and uh, and usually all the these uh, these strange work of the sky go unnoticed, but people people have actually stopped working and, uh, and parked their cars and got, gone outside just for this event. So yeah, we want to make sure you're safe be we, because you can wear the glasses up to totality, yeah, right? Yeah, you should, you should wear these glasses up to totality when you're staring at the sun, and, uh, and then during totality, take them off, enjoy totality for 3 minutes and 40 seconds, and then put them back on again. Good advice there, and we may, if we're lucky, even see a few planets. That's right. Planets and stars, uh, the brightest objects in the sky. There you go, from the experts here at Barron. We'll be back when the big event happens in just a few minutes. Right now, we have to go back to the Jet Studios. Meteorologist Craig Flint in the house with us again. Craig. Great to be back, Tom. Great to see you out there. Looks like a lot of fun. So, hey, stay there. We're going to check back in with you uh, pretty soon.